The secret to a great website is it should be information design and 10% graphic design. It should be 80% about the customer and 20% about the company. It should answer their questions um, so they can move on towards a solution. Uh, but you'd think this was common sense, but unfortunately common sense isn't that common. And uh, everything I've just said in majority of cases is completely reversed. Most websites are 90% graphic design and 10% information design. Um, they're 80% about the company and 20% about the customer. And they don't answer the customer's questions or they use um, too much industrial jargon. So the secret to a great website is what I've just run through. 90% information design. Let me give you some examples. The first thing, people use the phrase, just Google it. And, and that means that they, uh, you know, just you must have, most people have used this phrase, oh, just Google it, but, which means get your questions answered. Well, if you just Google it and don't get your questions answered on your particular website, on your business website, then guess what? They're going to go to somebody else's website and get them answered. So one of the big things is you need to answer their questions. It's kind of like... Um, a conveyor belt at an airport. If you imagine that the luggage is your questions, if you um, are waiting for three bags to come off the luggage chute and only two of them come off, you can't move on until the third one comes off. Yeah, <clears throat> it's the same with questions. If people have questions, they need to uh, get the questions answered before they can move on with their buying journey. And the same as if only two bags appear on a conveyor belt, you're going to wait and wait. But you're also going to do something else. You're going to go, ah, let me check some of the other conveyor belts to see if my bag has come off on one of the other conveyor belts. Well, guess what? When people come to your website and you only answer one of their questions, they're going to find other websites to get their questions answered. And when they get all their questions answered, then they're going to put in a a lead or they're going to make a phone call or they're going to make uh, a journey to your um, particular company. So it is very important to uh, answer people's questions and do your research on frequently asked questions. And this is another secret of making a great website. So hopefully that's helped and made you think a bit more about how people and how you use websites to get information. And the other one I would just also suggest is um, that people consume information in different ways. Uh, some people like a blog post, some people like social media posts, some people like webinars. Video content is very, very powerful. There are so many websites uh, don't have video content. There was a stat um, by Google that 53% uh, of page one uh, websites had a video on their home page. So if you've not got any video content on your website, guess what? It's not going to be a good experience. It's not going to answer people's questions. Um, infographics is another great way of getting information. Podcasts, how-to guides. There's about 13 to 20 different ways that people come to the internet to consume information. If you can build that into your website, hey, presto, you'll start to get more leads from your customers. And because you've built it in and you've thought about that, Google will reward you with higher rankings. So hopefully that's helped. If you click uh, the subscribe button, I we will tell you about any new videos that we're going to drop that will help you get a great website and more leads. And, of course, more leads equals more customers and more leads uh, and more customers equals more money for your business and gives you the stability of having a consistent flow of leads for your business. Hopefully that's helped. My name is James Roberts, and uh, hopefully that's got you thinking. Cheers. Bye.